On Wednesday, the 10th of October, the Internet Archive, also known as the Wayback Machine or the Past of the Internet, faced an extreme distributed denial-of-service attack and a data breach affecting its 31 million users. The Internet Archive is a non-profit library with a stated mission to provide universal access to all knowledge. In addition to its archiving function, the Archive is an activist organization advocating for a free and open Internet. An important part of the Internet Archive is the Wayback Machine, which contains the digital archive of the World Wide Web web. Users can enter a URL to view and interact with past versions of websites contained in the archive, even if the site no longer exists on the live web. On the 10th of October, when visitors to the site tried to access the Internet Archive, they were greeted with an illicit JavaScript alert created by hackers stating that the Internet Archive had been breached. The alert read, Have you ever felt like the Internet Archive runs on sticks and is constantly on the verge of suffering a catastrophic security breach? It just happened. See 31 million of you on HIBP. The text HIBP refers to the Have I Been Pooned data breach notification service created by Troy Hunt, where threat actors commonly share stolen data to be added to the service. Hunt said that the threat actor shared the Internet Archive's authentication database nine days ago, which is a 6.4 gigabyte SQL file. The database contains authentication information for registered members, including email addresses, screen names, password change timestamps, bcrypt hashed passwords, and other internal data. Hunt noted that there are 31 million unique email addresses in the database, with many subscribed to the HIBP data breach notification service. The data will soon be added to HIBP, allowing users to enter their email addresses and confirm if their data was exposed in this breach. The data was confirmed to be legitimate after Hunt contacted users listed in the database, including cybersecurity researcher Scott Helmy. Helmy confirmed that the bcrypt hashed password in the data record matched the bcrypt hashed password stored in his password manager. He also verified that the timestamp in the database matched the date when he last changed the password in his password manager. Hunt stated that he contacted the Internet Archive three days ago and began a disclosure process, saying that the data would be loaded into the service within 72 hours. However, he has not heard back since. It is still unclear how the threat actors breached the Internet Archive or whether any other data was stolen. Earlier on the 10th of October, the Internet Archive suffered a DDoS attack, which has now been claimed by the Black Meta Hacktivist Group, who said they would conduct additional attacks. Internet Archive founder Brewster Carl shared an update on X last night, confirming the data breach and stating that the threat actor used a JavaScript library to display the alerts to visitors. A second update stated that DDoS attacks have resumed, taking archive.org and openlibrary.org offline again. While both attacks occurred simultaneously, it doesn't seem that they are directly related. All right, everyone, that was the latest update. If you found this video useful, please consider subscribing and be sure to smash the like button.